In this video, I want to talk to you about three reasons why I use the Carrot website to build my real estate website. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you click on the bell notification so that you get notified of all of our upcoming videos. Hi, my name is Paul Kim, and in this episode, I wanted to talk to you about uh, the three reasons why I use the Carrot website for my real estate business. And I'm going to go into the pricing as well because there might be some people um, that you know has, are hesitating on getting this website because of the price. But um, so the three reasons, the main reasons why I use uh, the carrot website. Uh, and let me just give you a background as to um, you know what how I came about the carrot website. So when I first built my website using a WordPress website, WordPress, and using uh, Bluehost as a domain, this was a while back. Uh, you know, so I built this website and I paid, I believe, three hundred dollars uh, to a virtual assistant uh, to a tech guy over in India, uh, and basically. For 300 bucks, I had I, I had him use uh, a theme uh, and use GoDaddy, no, not GoDaddy, uh, Bluehost as the host. And so I had this, you know, pretty decent um, website that looked pretty decent, but basically had no traffic. And so I had that. And um, and then at uh, around 2016, 17, I, I was like, okay, I need to figure this out because I, I know that this is important. I know that building a online presence is important. And uh, I wanna emphasize to you, anybody that's watching this in 2020, that if you wanna be a market leader, leader or a, you know, have, you wanna be a leader in your marketplace, in your local market, you need to build an online presence, okay? And that is, I'm, I'm saying this right now, is that if you don't get on board, you're gonna be left behind. All right, so with that said, um, so uh, going into um, my back, so basically in 2016, 2017, I decided, okay, I'm going to dive in and I'm going to start doing this. And so after putting in that time and effort, so basically um, I got started ranking on, I was like, remember, I remember I was on page 10 and then slowly I got on page nine. Slowly uh, I was ranking on page eight. Uh, and slowly moving up, and now I'm racking on page one at the bottom. It goes up and down, but I'm, I'm racking on page one, uh, and I don't want to lose that, so I have to continually put effort into it. But so, um, so Carrot enabled me to do that, okay? And you know, but it it, it also took effort on my part. So the three reasons I'm gonna go into it, the number one reason I think is the performance. So what I mean by performance basically means that uh, they have servers, basically, you know, when you type in uh, a certain website or domain or address on, on your um, browser and you, you ent enter that enter button and, you know, you go to a domain and if, if it doesn't show up and it doesn't come right up, most of the time people will think, oh, is this domain not working or is that website not working? And so with that, whenever you, you know, so you have the performance backup, uh, backing up uh, Carrot. So that's number one. And um, number two, it's very simple to use, okay? And so, you know, later on in this episode, I'm gonna go into the back end of Carrot and to kind of show you how simple it is. Uh, and I'll show you some of the features of what, what makes Carrot really, really, I think in my opinion, a great platform. And number three, I believe is most critical is the content, okay? And they, they provide you the content necessary for you to start put, putting out uh, weekly blog content. And so that, that is what's critical for you to start generating uh, for SEO purposes. And they, they, they provide you content that's SEO optimized for you to start generating, uh, for, for, not, for you to start uh, ranking on Google. And so um, they provide that. And that in itself, I think, is, is uh, you know, valuable. I mean, you know, uh, 
in price wise cost wise all right and for those um and the last part of this equation is when you look at the cost for you to um uh you know should you spend that 99 dollars? i mean i you know for me um if you look at the price of 99 dollars, so let's look at what is what you need in order for you to start um you know let's say you were using a a, a hosted domain so let's let me just um show you let me share my screen so let's just say um so if we're on if we are um at the um carrot and so if you look at the pricing for the content pro which gives you three websites for 99 dollars so you, not only one but you get three websites okay so let's look at um you know let's say uh, uh blue host is a domain provider and so let's say you were getting hosting um at wordpress hosting and you know for the type of performance that you're getting so let's just say you get choice plus which you know this means you have unlimited websites but this probably gives you a pretty decent um uh let me see in terms of uh performance wise let's just say that it's 15 bucks all right so 15 bucks and then um you know on top of that you have to probably um have to have some sort of a uh landing page because you know even if you use a certain theme you're gonna have to probably uh get a a a, a host um some sort of a uh way to create landing pages what they call and so um you may get a theme that um that has these uh, landing pages, but most of the time you're not probably going to have them. And so let's just say you get lead, you have to get lead pages, and so the pricing for lead pages, even if you get the the lowest price, is um, twenty five dollars a month. So you're taking fifteen plus twenty five, that's forty dollars a month, um, and then on top of that um you have to go and create articles and so let's say you have to create one article per month so let's say you go to fiverr and let's just say that you have to you know create a um you you outsource to get some outsource to somebody to get an article and so let's just say that you um let's say uh, article let's say blog article let's type it in and uh, you know let's just say um let's say on the low end it's ten dollars to write an article so you, on, on the low end it's like 10 bucks so you have to write four articles that's 40 bucks so you're talking about 40 bucks plus 40 bucks 80 bucks so right there is and then not not only that, but you have you know you have to deal with the headache of any technical issues. Uh, believe me, when I used to have my WordPress website, I mean every time I needed uh, a revision to it, I had to get somebody to do it because I didn't know how to do it. Um, Word, uh, WordPress is always providing updates because there's always some hackers vulnerability, and so you have to deal with that. Um, and so knowing that you have a, a a platform that is um that is secure optimized and simple to use all right so um on that end let's let's go and log into my um to my um let me just move my picture over and i'm already logged in um it probably remembers me since when i logged in so this is my my website and this is my this is my lead generation and this is my um buyer's website uh even though i do have available three websites I, i'm only using two um so if i go to my dashboard and so i talk about performance i mean it's pretty quick so that's number one and then simple to use so the the articles that um so we talked about simple to use so you have the pages that are here and all the pages are here and just like any wordpress website and so i'm able to go as a user to go in and make changes to it 
if necessary. I mean, for those that are not um, technically inclined, maybe it might be a little bit uh, difficult for you to absorb everything. But once you start going on the back end and knowing it, it's very simple to use. And so you have here all of these articles and you see that it's all SEO green lights, um, most of the articles that they provided. Um, and so you have to do some, you have to tweak some of it uh, to, um, to your market, all right? Uh, and then the content marketing, when you say the content, the articles that comes with this, so they already, they have these um, content packs that are available for you to use. And so the, these are valuable, all right? So the only thing that you're gonna have to go in there and you have to go and modify, uh, they strongly recommend because everybody uses the same articles. So you wanna go in and, and either add or modify uh, some of the articles and change about 20%. That's what they say about 20% of the articles, 20% uh, of one article. And so that does take time but um, you can easily have your uh, virtual assistant or somebody that's working for you do that, or you can do it yourself. Um, and so um, let's just go back to my account and I will show you my dashboard. And what I like about this is basically it gives you the visitors, it gives you the leads. Um, and this is the reason why, um, there was a in, big influx here just because I was doing a lot of outbound uh, email marketing. And so a lot of people were landing on my website. And so um, this gives you a, a very good um, overview of what's going on. And then when you click on this, it, it gives you even a better breakdown as to where people are going in terms of your, on your website. And then it, it tells you 30 days, 90 days, and up to one year. Um, and so this also tells you which are coming by organic search, which is about 41% on my end, and direct is 41, 3% is social, and this is referral. I'm not sure what that means, but. Um, a lot of the stuff, you know, to be honest, I don't know all the features of it, but it's available. And, you know, this is why, I mean, for the price that you're paying, I totally recommend it. And this is the reason why, um, you know, I'm, a, I'm um, you know, anybody that tells me, you know, if you're an investor or an agent, I would totally, te re totally recommend this um, platform. All right. So now that we went over the three, um, reasons why I believe the Carrot website, Carrot platform is the, the best choice, in my opinion, for real estate investors and agents out there. Um, and if you have any comments or questions, write them below and I'll get back to you and I'll make sure to answer them. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you think uh, if you believe that you know this is a, a you know a video that you like, and of course subscribe and click on the bell um, notification uh, to be notified of future uh, videos, and um, I look forward to seeing you on my next video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye now.